Hello! Hey, how is everyone doing? Today we're going to check out this game called Spark the Electric Jester. Hope you've all had a good Christmas and are looking forward to the new year. And before we start, let me just show you something really cool I got for Christmas. If we pop on full screen cam for a minute, see that there? I can control it from my phone and at the minute it's just going through a random selection of pixel art but there's loads of really cool things you can do so if I click on this one you can see it's actually got my YouTube stats on there there is one for Twitch as well but um, I haven't managed to get that one set up just yet but I will do soon and there's also ones for Twitter and all sorts of other cool stuff as well hey got a first time viewer thank you Carlos really appreciate that and to the gates six months wow that is that has been a long time I really need to try and do it more often on here but thank you so much for the support and of course you're doing really well over on Twitch too so well done for keeping that up you're probably doing better than I am at the minute so anyway guys today we are checking out I press this button here this game here called Spark the Electric Jester and I will just see if I can figure out how to change it back there's loads of cool little things you can do on here look at all them there's whole categories of stuff let's see I doubt there is one for Spark but let's have a look and find out there's loads of Sonic ones. No. But I can show you a cool Sonic one. So all you need to do is choose choose what you want to display on there. And then, and then it should start playing. There you go. How cool was that? So let's put it back on and you can also draw your own ones as well but I haven't got around to trying that yet but if you go on cloud channel and choose video game it should just cycle through cycle through all sorts of random games there we go um what is the resolution uh 64 by 64 I think it's called the pixo 64 so I'm presuming it's 64 pixels across and yeah, I've still got some more playing around to do on there. But let's start this game here. This is called Spark the Electric Jester. And I've been told that this is a really fun game if you like Sonic games. So I'm really, really looking forward to trying this one out. And from what I've seen, it looks really fun. So let me know whether you can all see and hear everything okay. I did do a bit of testing beforehand to make sure that all the sound was good. So it should be better than last time. We should be good to go right from the start here. And I just need to make sure I have that window selected so I can actually control it properly. As you can see, very much Sonic inspired. I wonder if there's any secrets hidden around. And yeah, the uh, the 64 pixels thing on that, that screen back there, you can also use it in double pixel mode. So I think a lot of the sprites are actually 32 by 32 and obviously it doubles each pixel and it looks so nice I've actually, well, my shelves are cleared off at the minute but I've had it up there in the corner so while I've been working, while I've been doing stuff I've just had that in the background in the room and it's really cool so I thought that was an awesome present let's see if there's any secrets up here that I can get to I don't really have any I don't think I've got a double jump or anything yet. Maybe that's something I can try and get later on. Oh, we got a new a new weapon here called Wind Jester. And now I've got a double jump. Cool. Triple jump. And I can just jump higher in general, it seems. Awesome. Now we get loads of power-ups up here. Anyone watching, have you ever heard of or played Spark the Electric Jester before? Now we've got another thing called a Mega Gram. Whatever that is giant hammer kind of like Kirby that's pretty cool and it seems like there's loads of different weapons we've got another one already electric bat and I've lost my double jump for picking that one up although that looks really cool let's just carry on you can't do spin dash or anything which I keep trying to do every time I go down a ramp Ooh, looks like we're getting to the first boss fight called gome heavy cargo apparently Wow, that was easy. I didn't even need to think then. Took him out straight away. There's also some sequels to this game, which I'm also quite excited to try out. 
First time seeing me streaming, but you've been following a while because of the channel. That's great, so thanks for stopping by the stream. And I do have another video coming up on Friday, my end of year video, which I'm also very excited to um, for it to go live. It's basically showing off my favourite games of the year. Oh cool, it looks like I got a double jump as well. Favourite games that I played in the year, not my favourite games of the year. I don't even think I've played 10 games that came out in 2022 to make a list like that. I don't know when this game came out. 2015, I think? Maybe? Maybe before that. But yeah, at this point there's actually three Spark the Electric Jester games, so I'm a little bit behind getting to them. But it seems really fun so far. I think it's kind of unfair that people um, just say it's a Sonic clone, because it does seem quite unique and has its own style, especially with all the different weapons. That's like... There's a lot of weapons as well. Here's another one. It's more like Dynamite Heady or something like that, where you've got all the different power-ups in the stage that you can pick up. And obviously you want to try and figure out which one's the best and then ignore the other ones. I haven't really been looking around at the screen or, or anything yet, so I'm not really sure what I'm picking up here. These little pieces, I don't know whether they're maybe currency, maybe health. Let's see what happens next time I pick one up. Uh, it's slowly filling up that yellow bar at the top of the health bar by the looks of it. It has that really like old school PC kind of feeling to it. Not sure why the music went quiet then. Not sure if I'm going the right way even. What's in there? Got a a knight attack. That's cool. Let's try using that one. Aomi, heavy demolition. Here comes the second boss. Looks like I can dash as well by double tapping. So that's cool. Let's see if this boss is as easy as the first one. So far, it seems like it. Is he even going to try and attack me? I don't think I'm taking damage from getting that close to him. Looks like I can charge up the attacks as well by holding down, holding down the attack button. Wow, another really easy fight. This kind of reminds me of another PC game that I used to love playing called Noi 2 Love or Noi 2 Love Devolution. <laughs> I just noticed Wario's dancing in the background there, that's fun. Maybe I'll have that in the background on all my streams. It's not too distracting, is it? Hopefully. I mean, hopefully not. Not hopefully. Don't want to distract you guys. Anyway, how has your Christmases been, everyone? Been good? I got some really cool stuff. This turned up today. It was a little bit late, but I actually bought this myself. And I can say that I spent some Christmas money on it. It's basically a look back at all of the all of the original games that Nintendo made before they made video games, which is really, really cool. And maybe I'll do a video on this on this book in the future. There's so much cool stuff in there. You had a good Christmas, you just got back. I'm actually going away for Christmas tomorrow, so that's why I'm doing this today. Because this is the only day that I'll have free until next year now. So I'm going up to Wales for for their Christmas, my girlfriend's family's Christmas, and staying there for New Year. So today's the last day I had to myself, so I thought I would do a stream because it's been a while. And I do miss streaming. I would love to do more next year, hopefully. I'm going to aim for, I don't want to say once a week because that might take up too much time for doing videos, but maybe twice a month minimum and we'll see how we go from there. Because I'm trying to juggle this, doing a podcast, and doing videos, and I don't want to give any of them up, so I'll try and dedicate some time to, to all three of them. Obviously videos are the main priority though, and next year I've got some super exciting plans. I'm incredibly excited to get started with next year's videos. So let's see what people said. To the gates has had an okay Christmas. You had a great Christmas Eve though, right? And um, Gion said he had a good Christmas. Excellent. And good to see you again, Gion. Thanks for sticking around. Is anyone doing anything fun for New Year? Do I celebrate New Year? Of course. I would love to go to London and celebrate it one year. I would love to go and see the, uh, the fireworks there. That would be so cool. 
I've always wanted to, but for whatever reason, I've never really had the chance. Maybe next year. Hey, Pastor Plunger's here too. Hello. My Christmas was great, thanks. Hopefully you had a good Christmas as well. Christmas is still kind of ongoing for me. Uh, no, I don't think this game's new. I think it came out in... I'm going to have a quick look, actually. I'm not really sure when it came out. I only just found out about it recently. It turns out there was three of them, and they all seem really fun. Let's see. Spark the Electric Jester came out in... 2017, so... It's a few years old at this point. No, I had to have drinks with someone called Nick. Was I boring you? I don't think I even mentioned retro games, huh? Yeah, there's actually three games, and the um, the second and third game in this series are actually 3D platformers, and they actually kind of resemble Sonic Adventure, which is really cool. But yeah, a lot of people have been telling me to try these games out, so... Okay, cool, we got a dash. We've actually got a dedicated dash button, so if you press B on this Xbox controller... There's loads of different power-ups all around the stage as well, so we've got the hammer again now. I keep thinking I'm missing stuff, so I'm still trying to get to grips with everything. Seems to be loads to do. I live in Ireland, and here doesn't have celebrations in general. That's strange. Any idea why they don't celebrate Christmas and New Year and stuff in Ireland? I would have thought it was celebrated all over the world. You mean Freedom Planet? Freedom Force is a very different game. Yeah. Freedom Planet 2 is coming out soon, I think. Or it's already out, but I'm waiting for it on the Switch. Yeah, Freedom Planet 1's awesome. Uh, I think Freedom Planet came out before this. They might even use the same engine, because like, when you're going over ramps and stuff like that, it looks very similar. But I'm, I'm loving this game so far. The graphics are really nice. Music's great, too. I think I missed some stuff over there. Let's see. Or is it just a random advert for some boots? $100 boots. Okay. Oh, cool. It looks like if I hold down, then you can... Uh... Oh, okay. That's a cool trick. So you can hold down to fire these fireballs in the air and then actually fire them forward. Fire fan helps the planet's air circulation crisis. Okay. I'm not sure how much a fan would help with that. Uh, no, none of these games are on the Switch. I did try and have a look beforehand, but um, no, I think they're only on PC, as far as I know. I did have a look on the developer's Twitter, and he said that for some reason Nintendo didn't um, sign it off for an eShop release. I don't really know why. I think it would do really well on the Switch. Maybe there was some sort of technical reason that it couldn't. Let's see what we've got here. Bow and arrow. Archer, cool. I love the really big range of weapons on this. This is really cool. New Year's depends on the person. Yeah. I don't know why, but I have a kind of fascination with years and dates and stuff, so I always kind of feel like New Year's a big deal for me. And I always like to set really lofty goals for myself and then get disappointed when I don't hit them. I've already been writing up all my 2023 resolutions. I don't know why. I always take that stuff really seriously. Does anyone else set resolutions? Okay, the bosses are slowly getting more challenging. Let's see what happens if I charge up. Oh, okay. I was expecting a giant laser or something, but it actually just changed the colour of the projectiles. Made them more powerful. Oh, I've got loads of health. I can just stand here and take him out. There we go. Oh, why didn't they sign up the DLC for Little Inferno? That's weird. Got a voucher for the Switch and picked up Moon. An alien isolation. Is Moon the uh, first person kind of Doom style game that was on the DS originally? I always wanted to get that on the DS, but it's getting crazy expensive. Hey, there we go. End of the next level. 
I'm really enjoying this. I don't know why I didn't play it sooner, honestly. Have you guys been seeing any interesting pixel art on the screen over there? I can see a weird, a weird Pac-Man one playing at the minute. DLC is available everywhere, even on mobile. Doesn't make any sense why it's not on the Switch then. Oh, that moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that one. Is it good yet? Or have you not played it yet? I was hoping that they would... Um, since the fan translation of Planet Laika was released, I hope I was hoping that they could get Quintet to do an official version. Or to properly license it. That'd be cool. Yeah, it does look really interesting. I remember reading about it when it got announced. Well, when it got announced that it had been translated. I didn't even know about it before then. I've been playing Hades again on the Switch. And I did get I did get one new game, which was kind of a Christmas present. It was a Christmas present from Strictly Limited who sent it to me. It was Cotton Cotton Fantasy. If you've heard of that really fun shoot 'em up series, they actually sent me that, along with a big special edition, which is really nice of them. And I had some more Christmas presents come through in the post today, actually, from some more companies, people, all sorts of cool stuff. And that book that I bought myself. I've actually bought myself a few more books as well. Hades is fantastic. I only realised the sequel was planned once I found the Steam page. Oh, I take it you didn't watch the Game Awards then. I'm trying to finish it before the sequel comes out. I'm right at the end. I don't know how much you've played, but... In the uh, in the final stage, there's like I won't go, I won't do any spoilers, but in that final stage, there's a room with all the doors, and you're supposed to get through all the doors, and there's like the big shop at the end with all the stuff. I managed to get right down to the last one, and then I died. I was so frustrated. I was actually playing it this morning before I got out of bed as well to try and play it again, but I've really been enjoying that game. It's really really good. Dreaming of being an online celeb. I don't want to call myself a celebrity, that just feels weird. I don't want to call myself an influencer either. Ugh. You'll get there. You'll get there one day. It's taken me 16 years of making content. That's not close to the true end. I know, but it's close to the end of the main, like, story. I got the new, um... I got the power-up. Uh, for the shield, which is my favourite weapon. So I've been trying to use that one. When you have to sacrifice two of the hearts. No, you're not allowed to use the word influencer, it's banned. <laughs> Feels dirty. Just call me a regular guy who makes videos for fun. I never wanted anything from it. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the uh, power-up I got for the shield. Mix that with, um, I think it's Thor's lightning. That's the best way of clearing out the early rooms, I think, in Hades. I'm really looking forward to the second one. It should be fun. I'm excited to see a new video. I'm kind of changing up my style for videos next year. I'm going to do a lot more documentary-style stuff and history videos which hopefully people will be interested in. I've been doing a lot of research and stuff, so it should be really cool. It was something I wanted to do last year, but I spent too long making reviews and guides and things, so I'm trying to change it up a bit because I want to do something that's a bit more um, engaging for me to make as well. Not that I didn't enjoy making videos last year, but it did start feeling a little bit like a job instead of a hobby. And, you know, until I make enough money to go full-time, I still want to be doing new things. Ah, that's good. Hopefully you'll really enjoy some of the stuff I've got planned for next year, then. I've been writing the script over the Christmas holidays. It's going to be really good. I hope, anyway. I don't think there's anywhere online that's actually documented things in as much detail as I'm going to go into. And the idea is to start with Nintendo and go through their history and then move on to Sega. So, that's why I've been collecting all these different Nintendo books. So, 
I showed you that before Mario one, but I also got this one. I've had this one for ages, but I've been going through and making notes from it and stuff, which is another really interesting book. And this this one's an all-time classic. A load of people recommended me this one as well, which is full of interviews from the 80s and 90s. So I've been devouring all those and writing scripts and stuff. And by piecing all that together and a load of websites documenting the history and things too, should be really cool. <clears throat> oh, nice. Um, volume 2. I, I've got two ways of getting it. I tried to order it off, um, I think, Waterstones' website because they said that they can order it from the original publisher. And I ordered that about two weeks ago, but I haven't heard anything. Yeah, check out that Game Over book. It's it's really, really fascinating. Like, there's, there's stuff in there that I'd never even read about before. And the way that he introduces all the people, too, and tells you their backstory, like... Right, right from the beginning as well, even before Nintendo was Nintendo. It goes all the way back to, like, the 1600s and the... Yamaguchi family and everything it's it's so detailed and if you if you like your Nintendo history and stuff there really isn't a better book out there was, the whole thing's been really really fun to read I'm only about halfway through it I might see if I can sneak it to Wales with me and read some at night but yeah I've been really enjoying um, it was someone called David Chef S-H-E-F-F -F. there you go David Chef, Game Over. And there's there's loads of different versions of this book as well. Apparently there was another one that was printed uh, just after the N64 came out. Yeah, David Chef, Game Over. There's a load of different subtitles, but as far as I know, they're all the same book. So yeah, definitely give that a read if you can. Unfortunately, there's no digital version, so you'll have to try and track the book down. But I'm sure you can find it out there somewhere. And yeah, see if you can figure out what the later release is. Because they also did an extended bit for the N64 as well, apparently. But the one I've got is the original uh, early 90s release. Which just goes up to the Super Famicom. Which is still really interesting. Um, oh yeah, as for Volume 2, I think I found somewhere to order it, but it hasn't arrived yet. So I'll let you guys know, probably on Twitter when it turns up. I'm looking forward to it. And it turns out there's actually four volumes, but the other two are only in French, unfortunately. Uh, there was another book I had as well, but uh, I haven't got it on the desk here. But yeah, they'll keep you busy. Yeah, that, that volume two is ridiculously hard to find. Ooh, got some underwater bits going on here. Well, you can, you can go really fast if you time the dashes and the double jump and stuff. Oh no, that reminds me of Wacky Workbench, those electric fences. Uh, nightmare fuel, that is, from Sonic CD. Can't see it on Amazon or eBay. Um, I actually found it in Oxfam, in the end. In the charity shop, the their website. And it didn't show up on Google either, so I can't remember how I actually tracked it down but it took a while but keep, keep trying to look maybe put a saved search on ebay it should turn up eventually it's really annoying there's no scans or anything else you could just look at a pdf of it i guess it's too old for that yeah i was really surprised when i found it it wasn't even expensive it was like 10 quid and it's the original first edition hardback as well so I was super excited to find that. Buy a fan and stop the planet's air pollution. Oh god, what is this? The end of Metroid with those rings coming out and attacking me. I love the music. The music's so cool in this. How's the audio? Can you guys hear the hear the music right? Hopefully you can, because it's really cool. I have no idea how long this game is, like, I don't know how many levels it's got, I don't know. I was kind of expecting a story, I'm quite surprised it's just been straight levels back to back. All sounds good, that's good. I know last time I had a bit of trouble, but that's because I was recording from a console rather than everything through the computer, which is a lot easier to do. So it looks like I've got a long range weapon again now. 
What do you guys think of the game so far? Guys and girls, if there's any girls watching. Found one called Game of uh, Nintendo's Battle. Yeah, that's that's the same book. I don't know why they keep adding random subtitles to it. It's just different prints of it. So, yeah, get it. How much is it? How much did you find it for? Oh, there's a lot going on now. This kind of reminds me of like an intro to the Shanto stage. I love the pixel art as well. It's so nice. They did a great job. Eight ninety nine. Wow, oh, brilliant. Get it before anyone else does. I keep forgetting I can charge up. I've got like a Hadouken kind of move there, right? Or like a, a laser bolt. Okay, now jump over him. Avoid all fire. I don't have a double jump anymore. Now I've changed to this one. Whoa! Okay, that took care of him. Cool. Another boss down. Oh, maybe not. Okay, cool. I can charge up and then jump in the air to fire a laser as well. That'll help a bit. Ah! You can't move while you're charging up, though. Where is he shooting? I'll just stay back here, I think. Seems weirdly easy to dodge all his attacks. I'm going to say that and regret it because something dangerous is going to happen, isn't it? Ah, like that. I'm actually quite low on health. Three more hits. There we go, he should be dead. His health bar's gone anyway. Now what's going on? Okay, that boat in the background's helping me. Any explanation as to what's going on? No. Who put that spring there? There we go. Stage clear. It doesn't say what stage number it is or anything. So I don't know how many levels I've actually done. Are we going underground? Is this a Mario style? Oh, there we go. Stage four. Smog sewer. I always think, for some reason, games in the 90s had an, had an obsession with sewers for some reason. Like, every NES game has to have a level set in a sewer. For some unknown reason. I don't know what sort of sewer has a, a weird anti-gravity blue line like that, though. Like a spine or something. No, I haven't got a double jump. Let's see what this one is. Wind just air. That one's a double jump, isn't it? Or the float? Flying in the air? Floating in the air? Not sure how that works yet. That's a new one. Let's see what this one is. Fire. Cool, fire breather. Oh yeah, that's that's the reason I picked up all those spark games, because they were all on sale. So yeah, if you think this looks cool. It's only two pounds something. Go get it. Or s before you get it, see if you can get the. Um... Haha, <laughs> sorry. Not as bad as people when they watch my pickups videos and they spend money, because I'm sure they spend a lot more than two ninety nine on them ones. I always feel bad for that. Electric bat. That's the basic one, isn't it? Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, have a look, see whether you can get the collection. Because when I... I think I managed to get all three of them for like six quid or something. All, all three for 15, yeah, that's it. Yeah, get all three of them because the, the second and third one are actually very different games. Maybe... Maybe we can check one of them out. A bit later. But yeah, you may as well get them while they're on sale. At least they'll be in your library ready for when you want to... When you want to play them and... You know, whenever you get around to it. I got my double jump back. Can I get back out of here?
Why won't it let me jump off that wall? Weird. Never mind. Maybe it doesn't want me to go back up there. Yeah, two and three look awesome. It was actually um, a video that someone posted of the second game that made me interested in trying these out in the first place. And then I was I was actually surprised to see that this first one's a 2D platformer instead of a 3D one. So I thought I'll, I'll start at the beginning. But it's really cool that fans are actually making 3D Sonic style games as well. Because you see a lot of games like this, but you don't really see that many based on the adventure or heroes style engine, which is really cool. I, I did play it for a little bit off stream, and it seems really good. Like, the physics seem really good. What's this one? We've got an ice themed one now. We can shoot some icicles at things. And make platforms, nice. Ah, oh, cool! And you can skate across water. No way. I love the attention to detail with all the... Uh, uh, except I can't go down there. Ah, okay, I just figured out you can actually swap between two different hats, or two different techniques. I wonder what happens if you do it while you're underwater. Nothing. You get a bit of extra frost. Haha, <laughs> sorry. It made you spend more money. I hope it was worth it. I should be on commission. Whoever made this. Give me a code I can use. Whee! Boss fight time. I'm charging up my attack for something. Let's see where he's going to come out. Wow, that's a very Sonic style boss attack. Okay, he didn't do anything. Let's try changing to the um, the water one. The ice one, shall I say. Damn it, hit the floor. Ha! Ah, I can throw spikes too! Did it actually hit him? I like how the bosses are getting more involved the further into the game I'm getting. Oh, if you do want to use a code for something, if you have a look on the Retro Room... The Retro Room.com, I think it is, or the Retro Room Games. Um, then you can get some of John Room's John Roo's homebrew stuff for fifteen percent off. I made a tweet about it earlier. That was one of the Christmas presents I got. He sent me a bunch of his homebrew games and a discount code for anyone who wants to buy anything from him, which is awesome. But yeah, I can't I can't remember off the top of my head. But if you have a look on Twitter, I posted it earlier. Not that I'm here to sell things, but. If you are interested in some Game Boy or GBA homebrew stuff. Oh, speaking of homebrew, something really funny happened over Christmas. I went to visit my nan and my uncle, and when I got there, they'd been watching my videos. And my nan asked, why do you keep talking about beer? What? What, what do you mean, talking about beer? And she kept hearing the word homebrew, thinking I was talking about beer. I thought it was so funny. I think she was joking. I, I hope. <laughs> yeah, homebrew beer, you know. <laughs> Not games. <laughs> I was laughing so much. Oh yeah, past the plunger, you can't see it, but... Just out of shot up there, look, I've still got the Trackmania thing on the wall. I don't really appreciate that, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, it's right there. Pride of place. No! I would never get rid of it. Maybe I could play some Trackmania on stream at some point, that might be fun.
I love this game. It's so simple, but it's not trying to be anything else. Hey, Retro Jim Tendo, thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, RetroRoomGames.com, yeah, that's it. And let me tell you what the code is. Maybe I can paste it in the chat. You can get 15% off using... I love this code, by the way. You'll see. Oh, not that one. That was my entire tweet. I just wanted to tweet that bit. Retro break rules. Not come and chill while I try out Spot the Electric Jest. I've been looking forward to it. Blah, blah, blah. That'd be a, a pretty lengthy code for a website. <laughs> you just found it. Cool. Yeah, you sent me over a bunch of games, including the GBA one, which I'm really excited to try out. I've actually got quite a lot of um, unlicensed GBA games now. Not just homebrew, but like unlicensed ones from back in the day as well. And unreleased games. So I'm going to do a big video about all them at some, po some point next year. There's one more that I'm trying to get and someone on Twitter has helped me track it down. So I'm just going to wait for them to, um, to sell it to me. They said they'll do it sometime after Christmas. And then I'll actually have, I think, every every uh, unlicensed GBA release. Which will make for a really cool video. All the Pico Interactive games. That's something I've been trying to track down for years now, so... Glad I'll finally have them all. Hey, it's this guy again. Homebrew beer or homebrew games? Maybe I should make a new channel for homebrew beer. No! Why is he... The bosses are definitely getting more challenging. Whoa. Meow, meow. Oh no, the floor's still on fire. Ah! Ah! I can only stand right here. Let's see if this one's any better. Oh, that's a cool attack. How do we do that one? I think it's kind of like Kirby, where there's loads of different attacks you can do. No! My first death! Yeah, homebrew while drinking beer. That could make a good series. And make my own beer. Hey, I like that attack. Stand on the ice block and spin round. Whee! move on. I like how he skates across the floor as well, that's cool. Oh, I thought it was going to take me to the next level. We've got to carry on up here. Slowly. Why is it so eerie without any music? Here we go, we're finally out of the sewers. Now we're in Smog City. Nice. Get dashy. Okay, let's go. Whee, chemical plant zone. I guess it's kind of apt, there's a lot of chemicals in the air. Get dashy. Let's get dashy again. Oh cool, you can do a spin dash with this suit. Oh, it doesn't really seem to spin, speed you up much. Whee! This is a fun level. I thought the levels were quite um, platforming heavy, not so much speed focused, so this is a nice change of pace. Awesome music again as well. There we go, we've got a checkpoint. VR, next gen. Next gen VR is coming out in February. PSVR 2. I'm going to get it to play Resident Evil 8 in VR. That should be fun. Oh, 
And then at, at some point next year, I think Meta's bringing out a new quest. But they need more games for it, honestly. I only use my quest to play Tetris Effect and Gadgeteer, really. Has anyone watching got a VR headset? Do you actually use it much? I use my PC one all the time to play Beat Saber. But, you know, they're kind of old games. There isn't really anything new and exciting for it in a long time. Maybe that Zenith MMO game, if you're into MMOs, that looks kind of cool. But, you know, I prefer the more abstract style games. There was a really cool retro style first person shooter game. I can't remember what it's called, but it kind of looks like Doom. What do you play on it on the PC? I've got an index for the PC games and I've got a quest for the standalone games. I guess that's kind of overkill. And PSVR 2. Uh, 1. And soon to be 2. I haven't plugged the PSVR 1 back in since the new play, so... It's really frustrating that it's not going to be... I don't really know what sort of attacks I've got for this guy. Nothing, really. Have you played Half-Life, if you've managed to plug it into the PC? I really need to finish Half-Life, Alex. Oh, you just started playing it. Cool. It's good, isn't it? There's some weirdly confusing puzzles that stopped me on my tracks for a while while I was playing it. But it's so impressive though, just to like see the world of Half-Life so like right there. And the way you use the guns and reload and aim and stuff, it's just so cool. It works really well. I'm so annoyed that Valve hasn't done anything else, though, since then. I don't even think they're working on anything else, which is such a shame. Yeah, Half-Life Alex is amazing. Um, other ones I'd recommend if you've got PC? Uh, let's see. Super Heart is really fun. That's the game that only moves when you do. Which is really, really fun in VR, because you can slowly move to the side and the enemies all move in slow motion. And you can, like, duck underneath them and stuff. That one was really, really cool. Um, oh yeah, you can you can play Half-Life 2 in VR as well, though. You can also download something called the Dolphin VR, which allows you to play GameCube games in VR, which is really cool. You can um, you can get a mod for Metroid Prime, which looks amazing. The cutscenes are kind of weird because you can sort of see yourself from the outside, but when you get into the game, it actually works really well. The Dirt Rally games as well, they're really good in VR if you're into racing games. I played a lot of that when that came out, and obviously Beat Saber, Tetris Effect as well. I know you wouldn't think much of it, because it's just Tetris, but the, the VR component of that is honestly mind-blowing. But that's probably better on the Quest, because you can just sort of relax and play it wherever then. Okay, there's another VR, VR sign. I don't know if there's any, like, hidden secrets or anything in these areas. I've just been mindlessly flying my way through these stages, but there must be some things for you to try and track down. Not quite sonic physics on the loops. It seems to slow down a bit. Has anyone figured out what the pickups are actually doing? 
They never seem... They never seem to change anything. Hey, have we got some story? Huh? Who's this guy? Oh, you're one of those that can talk. Well, I'm sorry for the intrusion. I'll see myself out. Hey, 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 you aren't going anywhere. Hmm? Right, right. Ah, this man is a really nice wallet. Okay. Really like the design. Anyways, got a jet. Catch you later. Hey, get back here. What the heck? This guy just took my wallet. Hmm, can you believe that? You're literally naked right now. What the hell? Sorry, but sorry that you weren't carrying your wallet. Oh, that's true. That guy, I got japed. Yeah, he does that. Earlier, he said he took my eyes away. And while I was looking at him, I asked him to give them back. Ah, that's kind of funny. Well, I gotta be going now. That was kind of fun. Oh, sorry, I can't let you pass. I'm supposed to fight you to the death now in support of our world domination plans. I am really sorry. Oh, that's fine, man. Wait, to the death? World domination? Oh, no. I love how, how random that cutscene was. It's so fun. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Let's try this hammer. At least he's apologetic about trying to kill me. What a nice boss. But what about if I want world domination? Haha, <laughs> I'm not even facing that way. Whoa! Okay, I'm just gonna do that again. Oh yeah, I can do that one as well. Have some fireballs. He's dead! Are they both for health, the big ones and the small ones? I'll try and find out on the next stage. Stage clear. I wish there was a level clear jingle. I always love them in the Sonic games. We're going up now. Just the big ones, yeah. Maybe there is a hidden hidden score or something. Whee. The dashing doesn't seem to do much. Maybe it depends on what weapon you've got equipped, because this one seems a bit slower. Right, let's see what that does. There's something there. It filled up that yellow bar at the top, slightly. Is it a power up? Is it a charge up thing? No. Oh cool, it is kind of like Kirby, so you've got your list of... Your list of things there. Right, anyway. I'm not sure what that yellow bar at the top is. There might be a button I haven't pressed yet. Like a special attack or something. Is that going to come and crush me? There hasn't been any, like, instant death pits or anything like Sonic yet, which is good. Seems like the game designers knew that no one liked them. Ah! Let's see what's up here. There's something up there. Have I got a double jump thing? No. kind of got a double jump with this one, but it doesn't do much. Does the arrow have a double jump? Not at all. Something's gonna land on me! Oh, maybe I don't want to be on top of them either. I'm guessing that's what the uh, exclamation mark things mean. Instant death. Whoa! Okay. 
whose idea was it to have the train go directly through this path? Doesn't seem very safe. When we get to a boss, I'm going to see whether there's any sort of special weapon that I'm missing. we got Mario World style platform. That didn't really take me anywhere. Let's see whether this one goes further. No, how dare you fight me back? That's better. There's some health. Okay, cool. It restores a whole section. Ah, ah, I thought I could jump up from underneath. No. I just wasted the health I just picked up. Okay, there's a load there. But let's see if this is better. That's a fire breathing one. I didn't actually get a chance to try that last time, so. Let's see whether the fire breathing is any good. I don't know what I just did, but it worked. Let's try that again. On this wheelie guy. After this stage, I might try it the second game as well to show you guys what that one's like. I'm not sure how long this game is. I thought I might be able to finish it, but as it doesn't say there's no sort of stage map or anything, I can't really tell how far in I am. And I do want to check out some of the other ones. So we can have a look and see what Spark 2 is like after this. After this level. Well, I've pressed every button on the controller and nothing's uh, doing anything that changes that top meter. I uh, don't think that hit me. Well, hey, it took him out anyway. That's a very Sonic style thing as well. Except we don't end up going inside the ship, it just collapses. weird you can go above the flat ones and go round the rounded ones nothing to dodge seems weirdly easy Definitely reminds me of Dynamite Heady picking up those different power-ups. Stage 6B. Okay. We're carrying on then, I guess. Cool background on this section. That looks really nice. A secret. I found a secret. Oh, 
What is this? Uh, Wind Jester. Is that that good? It makes me feel like that's probably one of the better ones if they hide it away like that. That's the one that lets you float, isn't it? Ooh. Or hover, kind of. And do the spin dash. I wonder if you can charge it up like Sonic. Yeah, you can! Whoa! It works a bit differently though, it's more like a rocket. Let's try it here. Whoa, too fast! It's like Rocket Knight. How far up can they go? I'm not waiting for that. Haha. <laughs> I bet speedrunners use this um, wind one to do some crazy tricks. You love how people connect Sonic Sonic. It happens all the time and Sega doesn't seem to care. There's some incredible Sonic fan games. I've actually got a list of Sonic fan games that I want to check out. I just haven't found the time. But yeah, there's some really, really cool stuff that fans are doing. If you ever have a look at the Sage Expo, the Sonic Fan Game Expo, every every year it's round and there's always hundreds of entries. And they're always so, so good. I'll check out some of Ant Dude's videos, he always showcases some of the best ones. I think this might have been a Sage entry, actually. Yeah, Ant Dude's videos are awesome. Or Sonic Dude 101, as it used to be called. Uh, is there a better weapon here, or should we go with these two? I think I've got two good ones. I almost accidentally picked up a different one then. <gasps> hey, that's funny. You're a persistent one. What is that supposed to mean? This isn't right, you know. This whole taking over the world thing. It's driving me nuts. Don't go any further. This isn't something you should be concerned about. What do you mean? I don't get it. That is fine. What's going on here? Please, I warn you. You have to leave. Go back to your home. This isn't your job. It's completely out of your league. If you don't, you'll get yourself killed. As if I care. You have been warned. Let's fight. Um... A very Mega Man X style. I can't remember what the boss is called now. The Falcon one at the top of the city. Hey, someone, someone Google quickly and see how I can use that second bar above my health bar. Or what it actually means. I don't understand what that wind thing's doing, it's just firing me in a different direction. Is it just to help me dash out the way maybe? Well, that was close. Ah, stay at the bottom. I'm nearly dead. Oh no, I didn't see that. <sighs> right. But what is that? What is that yellow bar at the top for? Is that ground wind dash? Down plus attack on the ground. Oh, cool. Triple jump. No, that's good too. I can figure out what's going on here. Triple jump and then float for a bit. Down kick dash. 
wind wrong first time I run in. Whee! Let's try him with a hammer. Oh, maybe the hammer's better to fight him with. That seems to be doing more damage. Whoa! Okay, this is his second phase. Yeah. The bosses are actually really fun in this. I need to pay attention to the floor as well because there's those uh, spikes of electricity, I guess. No, oh, come on, that didn't touch me. That's not fair. Right, let's try again with the hammer. I don't think there's any lives in this, so that's okay. Let's keep the wind one as the backup. Nearly at the halfway point, I think. But better not get too close to him. Okay. Ah! He was tricking me! Damn! I can't see them little diamond things going across the floor. Stay in the corner. Yay, you did it. That one took me three tries. Yay. Stage clear. Oh, cool, we got a cutscene. Uh, weirdly drawn cutscene. It's like pixel art, but also like flash animation. Huh. <laughs> what is going on? That was cool. Man, what was all that about? First he acts like a jerk, now he seems to care about me. That was really weird. I mean, isn't he just some robot? Who is he really? You know what? I'm giving him a name. Let's see. He is a faker of myself, and people call me Spark. So if I mix those two words, Spark? Ah, that's funny. It sounds gross. I like it. Whoa, no, no, no. Ah! <laughs> Stage seven. We're gonna have a look how many stages there are. I can decide whether to keep playing this or swap over to the to the other game. Uh, let's see. Sixteen stages. Wow, we're not even halfway yet. Okay, let's leave that game there we'll move on to the second one that was really fun though i really really enjoyed that and now let's check out spark the electric jester 2 and give me a second to set it up in obs 